What's the, what's the, norm, what, what is it, what should it be? What should we say? It's up to you. 80,000? Okay, we'll say $80,000. Is that right, Eddie? Good. With a standard deviation, <laughs> with a standard deviation of what? Remember, what does standard deviation measure? The consistency, right? This is, an, this is a mean value. So let's say the standard deviation of how much? How much? Oh, let's say 18,000, okay? We're making up a problem because this is what you guys are interested in, money and family. What's the standard deviation? How do we compute it? In real life, what you would do for all of these things is note, to compute the mean, that's the sum of all the data values divided by the total number of data. And, in, and again, to compute the standard deviation, the sigma, we'll use the, we can use the definition. The sum of those data scores minus the mean, okay, squared divided by what? N minus 1, and that's the square root. Remember, the, remember that formula? And then we had a shortcut formula. So in real life, you got a list of data. You can compute the mean this way, compute the standard deviation this way. And this, remember, represented how consistent the scores were. OK? So here is the question. Here's going to be your first question. What percent of families of four? Because this only applies to what? A family of four. What percent of families of four make at least At least what? A hundred thousand dollars per year. And this is uh, per year information. That's your question. Okay? So here's the procedure. This is going to be your procedure. Here's the procedure. I would say this to, you, to, to follow this procedure religiously. <laughs> what does that mean? Anybody go to church? <laughs> what does it mean to follow something religiously? Hmm? You're, really, you're, really trying to say people, you're really trying to say do this all the time. But I don't know, what does that have to do with being religious, Ed? Are you supposed to go to church all the time? Huh? Okay, so follow this procedure. Draw a picture of, a, of the question. Draw a picture of the question. The questions are usually given in terms of what's known as a normal distribution. So x is a normal distribution. Draw a picture. The second part is to do this after you draw a picture. You're going to convert the normal distribution to a standard normal distribution via the conversion formula. Z equals X minus mu over sigma. You guys should recognize this formula. Do you guys recognize it? You did it in the past. 
Step three, use the Z table to deduce your answer. You do this and you will answer these questions. Okay, you guys ready? Notice again this. You see, the, you see the question? They said that the income is normally distributed. That's your x. x is a normal distribution. Notice this. Can you tell me, for this distribution, what is the mean? 80,000. What's the standard deviation? 18. So that this is your mu value, and this is your what? Sigma value. That's the mean and the what? The standard deviation. Do you guys agree with this? So what's going to happen in every question is that they are going to give you, bless you, a phenomena that is normally distribu distributed. That's your x. They'll give you the mean, and they'll give you the what? Standard deviation. Let's go through the process. The process is this. Draw a picture of the question. The question is a normal distribution problem. You're going to draw a bell for the question. It's a normal distribution. OK? We're going to convert the normal distribution, this normal bell, to what's known as a standard normal distribution. And how do you convert it? via this z-value formula. This is also known as the standard formula. The standardization formula, or z, is known as the standard value. And then we're going to use that z-table. So here we go. What does the question look like? Can you guys tell me, what's in the center of your normal distribution? Isn't it the mean? OK, what's the mean in this problem? $80,000. OK? $80,000 is in the center. What did they ask? What percent of the bell, uh, I'm sorry, what percent of families make what? At least what? $100,000. You guys see what I'm saying? Is that what they asked? What does the at least mean? Well, first let me 